Hello all, how are you? I hope you are all well. Why am I dressed like this? Well, I just came from my fitness session. We all need to be fit in our lives. Why? Let's listen to this song. One, two, one, two, how many push-ups can you do? Fitness is key to strength and health. One, two, three, four, what are all these quads for? They're to keep illness away, with sports and fitness all the way. One, two, one, two, how many push-ups can you do? Fitness is key to strength and health. One, two, three, four, what are all these quads for? They're to keep illness away, with sports and fitness all the way. To find out more about fitness and health, follow us in the episode. Hello friends, welcome back. Are you ready for today's episode? Let's watch a video to see why people go to the fitness club. At the fitness club, people go to the fitness club day in, day out. Fitness fights illnesses, there is no doubt. They work on their muscles and get pumped up. They run on the treadmill with no stop. Others go to the fitness club to lose some weight. And this makes them feel so great. Though happiness isn't in how much we weigh, as long as we are healthy and okay. Making friends is another reason too. To fight loneliness, it helps, it's true. The music and the workout change the mood they help the people feel so good. All right, here's my question for you today. What is another term used to refer to a fitness club? If you know the answer, post it in the comment boxes and I will give you the correct answer at the end of the episode. Now, let's look at our text. At the fitness club. Can you see how the sentences are organized? Can you see that each part is made up of exactly four lines? If you don't believe me, let's count. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. See? Now, let's look at the text very carefully. Can you see how the last words in the first and second lines sound like each other? Out and doubt. Let's check the last words of the third and fourth lines. Up and stop. Do they sound the same? Yes, they do. Words that have similar sounds are called rhymes. We say out and doubt or up and stop are rhyming words or they rhyme. Let's check the ending words of the second part. Do we have the last words rhyming with each other? Let's check. Wait and great. The first line ends with wait, the second line ends with great. Do they rhyme? Do they sound the same? Yes, they do. What about the third and fourth lines? How do they end? They end with way and okay. Do these words rhyme? Yes, they do. When we have a text that has sections that have the same number of sentences and rhyming words, we call it a poem. Poems are special texts that are fun to read and listen to because they rhyme. They are also special because we call their paragraphs stanzas and we call their sentences lines. Now, let's focus on the following words. Fitness, illnesses, happiness, loneliness. All these words come from our text. What is common about them? Let's say the answer together. In three, two, 
one and the answer is they all have ness. What is ness? Ness is a suffix. What do suffixes do? They come to the end of words and change them. Let's check them one by one. Fitness is made up of fit and ness. Fit is an adjective. We can say, wow, he is very fit. But to use fit as a noun, we must have the suffix ness at its end. Fitness means activities that keep us healthy and strong. Fitness is a noun. Fit describes a person. Fitness refers to the activities that make a person fit. Can you guess what parts the other words are made up of? Let's start. Happiness is made up of happy and ness. Loneliness is made up of lonely and ness. Notice how the I in happiness and loneliness changes to Y after dividing the words. That's because happy and lonely are adjectives that end with Y. When we change them to nouns and added ness, we change the Y to I. All the words fit, happy, and lonely are adjectives. They describe people or feelings. For example, the happy girls and the lonely people. But when we add the suffix ness to them, the adjectives turn to nouns. Happiness and loneliness are nouns. They do not describe feelings. They are feelings. I can't say this happiness girl. I say this happy girl. Happy describes the girl. It is an adjective. Happiness is a noun. I can't say this loneliness girl. I say this lonely girl. Lonely describes the girl. It is an adjective. Loneliness is a noun. Let's look at this word. Illnesses. How many parts does this word have? This word is made up of the noun el and the suffix ness and the suffix es. Ill means sick. Illness means a disease or sickness. Ill is the main word, which is an adjective, and ness is the suffix that changes it to a noun. And the es is for, can you guess it? Drum rolls, please. Plural, that is right. We cannot change adjectives to plural, but nouns, we can. So illnesses is a plural noun that comes from the adjective ill. Friends, this is all for today. Before I say goodbye, let me give you the answer to the question I had asked earlier. Ready? The question was, what is another word or term used to refer to a fitness club. Drum rolls, please. It's the gym. All right, guys, that's all for today. Until I see you next time, be good and stay fit. Bye. لمشاهدة المزيد من الحلقات زوروا سات سفن بلاس